Hello, grade six. My name is Mr. Ashraf. I'm a drama teacher. This year in grade six, MYP one, we are going to start with the first unit, a dramatic conventions. So we're going to make a lot of activities, acting, and a lot of fun in our uh, class. Wish you all the best. So we are going to start with the first question. What are a dramatic convention and how can we use them? So a dramatic conventions are tools and techniques used to make our acting interesting. So we are going to learn all the convention. There are many conventions in a drama. So we are going to use the basic conventions that we are uh, going to use it this year. And actually we are going to use it to make our acting more interesting, more fun together. So the second question, why do we use a dramatic convention? So we started actually, what is the meaning of convention? It's a tool, we use it to make our act fun and to make it more interesting for the audience. Uh, in the drama, all the time, we need to send a message, message to the audience to attract the audience attention. It's very important to make different techniques in the drama and to use different skills to make our acting more fun and uh, to grab uh, the audience uh, attention. In this slide, we have types of dramatic conventions. So this year we're going to start with the first six uh, conventions. So we are going to start with tableau, monologue, freeze frame, narration, dialogue, and slow motion. Uh, there are many uh, types of uh, dramatic convention, but actually in uh, year one, so we are going to start with the uh, six conventions uh, here in this slide. The first convention, tableau. What's the meaning of tableau? If you look at this picture, actually the picture will explain what is the meaning of tableau. Tableau, it's a frozen image. Look at the actors. All of them, they sit in a different levels and it's frozen image. So all the actors on the stage and they uh, made this uh, tableau. There is a meaning from the, the tableau. Look at the body language, facial expression, levels, and how actually they, they stand and sit at different levels. There is a meaning for every movement on the stage. The second slide, monologue. What's the meaning of monologue? If you look at the picture, we have only one actor, and uh, the actor here, um, stand uh, in the middle of the stage and uh, start to speak to the audience or to another uh, actor. This is, we call it monologue. It means only one actor on the stage. So it's an Italian word. They use mono. It means only one actor on the stage. He's going to narrate something or tell the audience something happened, maybe in the past or in the future to explain something for the audience so no need for all the actors to be on the stage to explain this so only one actor will explain this for the audience they uh, call it monologue only one actor on the stage the third convention freeze frame Freeze frame, a group of actors, actually, uh, a freeze frame and tableau just look like the same, but actually here they use a different techniques. They use a body language. They use a facial expressions more than the tableau. The tableau they stand without uh, facial expressions, but here actually you know they use a lot of uh, uh, hand gesture. They use movement, they use facial expression, they use levels in a different way. The fourth one, narration. What's the meaning of narration? Sometimes 
we cannot make a lot of uh, uh, acting on the stage or we cannot offer uh, a lot of decoration or uh, set on the stage so we use the uh, narration look at the uh, picture uh, we have two ladies here one on the left one on the right on the right side actually this is a narrator narrator we use it in the drama to tell us something uh, happened in the past or in the future or something we cannot offer it uh, on the stage or it's very difficult or it will take time to put set and to put uh, uh, a lot of uh, stuff on the stage to explain that scene so we use the in narration or a narrator to explain this for the audience it will take one or two minutes much better than to spend more than 20 minutes to put the set and change the decoration it will take a lot of time so we put a narrator actually to tell the audience what happened uh, during that scene or during that act we have dialogue what's the meaning of dialogue dialogue two or more than two actors on the stage and there is a conversation between uh, uh, two uh, actor or four or five it's depend on the scene if you look here in this picture actually we have two uh, two characters or two actors and there is a dialogue between two uh, characters dialogue actually uh, the difference between dialogue and monologue dialogue two or more than two actors monologue it's only one actor on the stage slow motion a slow motion actually the actor will um, move slowly on the stage to explain something or something very important for the uh, the audience so we mentioned that we want to send a message to the audience so we can send a message through talking or through the body language or a movement so we use a slow motion the actor they move slowly to explain something or to mention there is an important thing happened during uh, the scene or the uh, movement so it's very important and actually it will change the whole scene or give the, the, the to make it more interesting for the audience so we are going to use this convention slow motion so uh, after we finish the slide about you know dramatic conventions we have six uh, conventions we use uh, a lot of uh, citation and also we have a lot of resources i'm going to put all the resources all the stuff uh, that we need for our unit or our uh, dramatic conventions i'm going uh, to put it uh, on the pc so you uh, you can uh, access and uh, look at the videos look at the resources that we are going to use it in this unit it will help you a lot and make it easy for you to um, to, to make your uh, let's say your research your essay your powerpoint so it will help you a lot Hope you enjoy it and uh, wish you all the best this year.